We got something. It's that IHOP and Hybrid 1175. Uh, 9.4 miles. We're going to take it. Arrived. There's nobody here. It's either a good sign or a bad sign. Let's find out. not uncommon we just got a six dollar tip on that one this area is much better for tips I'm pointing up in the air you can't see me <laughs> and uh, but the cards there and it's another uh, one right out of that IHOP we were just at this one is for eight dollars so let's pick that up the morning is off to a great start so I, I enjoy door dashing it's like it's fun to me and the fact that I can get paid for having fun is even better. That's what the you should... The destination is on your right, 61 Depot Drive. Arrive. When you're ready to retire, this is the way you do it. Find something you like to do, do it, and monetize it. All right, that was quite a wait at the IHOP, um, but it was a really big order. We are on the way to drop it off. Uh, our ETA at this drop-off is 5.40 a.m., which means we'll need to head straight home afterwards and get breakfast and then head to the warehouse. Our pickup at the warehouse is at 7.15. If we don't make it there by 7.20, we are considered late. But we are allowed to get there as early as 7 a.m. So I usually do about 6.45, which is why I need to chop chop pick a boy, drop this order off, and uh, get home. I've already set it in the app to not accept any orders after this one, and then I will end the dash and plot a course home. Gonna make something today that uh, I created because I had to get rid of hot dog buns. I don't know, for some reason in my house we buy hot dogs, we buy hot dog buns, we always have leftover hot dog buns, we don't have any leftover hot dogs. So all you need for this is a hot dog bun, uh, one slice of American cheese, one sausage link, and one egg. Uh, this is so simple you will not need to have the recipe put in the comments, so don't expect to see it there. It's also fast too. So preheat your pan, all you're really going to do in this pan is make uh, some scrambled eggs. Scrambled egg. And I like to have a little bit of onion, pepper in mind, so we're going to have to put some of that in there as well. So first crack your egg. Make sure you don't get any shells in there. And mix that up. I always like to get my pan warm before I put the egg in, not necessarily hot. I also add a little bit of water in my scrambled egg. People some, sometimes put milk in their eggs. It's just water. And you don't even have to add water, but sometimes eggs can get dry if you don't add water. When they cook, they cook the moisture out and they get dry. So we mix that up. And then get some onions. I like red onion. And pepper. And by now our pan should be hot enough, so we'll pour it in. A lot of cooking is listening. So when I pour the egg in, I'll know if the pan was really hot enough or if it's too hot for that matter. Probably could have been a little bit hotter, but that's okay. See if it would have went. Then it's like, oh dude, turn the heat down. You're gonna burn your eggs. But we're all good there. Some red pepper and some onion. And then you might want to add some cheese too. Even though there's going to be cheese in this little concoction here, a little cheese in your eggs doesn't, doesn't going to hurt anybody. All right, so now let's get to the sausage while the eggs are cooking. So take the sausage, cut this sausage in half. These sausages I cook at the beginning of the week. They're all pre-cooked and ready to go, but they're cold, obviously. So we just nuke them for about 12 seconds. Let's put a little... Uh, Deli dust, you have to have deli dust in your eggs. 
it's just general seasoning. I get salt, pepper, onion powder, and probably something else. It's a secret combination though. Mix all that around a little bit, let it cook. See, I've got the burner almost now on completely low heat because the burner is hot, the pan is hot. You don't really need to keep the stove on while you cook your food once everything is heated up, especially eggs, because eggs can get really bad if you overcook them. Okay. And I take the cheese, slice, break it in half, and I put it into my hamburger bun. You may notice my hamburger bun looks a little strange. I think hamburger buns are way too bready, so I cut off a lot of the bread on this one before I even got started. And I like to have this cheese a little melted too, so we're gonna put this in here with the sausage link. And nuke it for maybe about six more seconds. Just enough to heat up that bun a little bit, start melting that cheese a little bit. And the egg mixture is coming along. All right, so then once the eggs are cooked, you see how fast this is too. You have your bun with your sausage in. You can do this one of two ways. Uh, the last time I made it, I put the sausage in first and then the eggs, and the eggs were kind of messy. So this time I'm gonna take that sausage out. I'm gonna put the eggs in first. Maybe it'll be a little easier to eat. I won't have egg falling out all over the house. And There we go. Then top it off with that sausage. Now the heat from the eggs is gonna further melt that cheese all sort of automatically. Voila, breakfast hot dog. Only took less than five minutes to make too. Now this is the most important part of the whole video. So while you've put everything together, the eggs in the bun, the cheese is in there, the sausage is in there and everything, and it's sitting on the plate, it's ready for me to eat it. It's too hot. Okay, where do you like your food hot? steaming hot like that. I think it's too hot, it burns my tongue. I'm a big whip, whatever. But what you can do in this time while it's sitting there and while the heat from the eggs is melting the cheese, come over here and do the dishes. Come along with me. Your wife will love you for this. So it takes like five seconds to do these dishes because we didn't use very many. Or done. So in the pan, so in here. There's never dirty dishes at our house because we do the dishes the same day right after the meal or while the meal is getting ready to consume. Like with burgers and steak, a lot of people don't realize you're supposed to rest that after you cook it. You know, the, after you cook a steak, you let it rest for like five minutes or so. You can do the same with a burger too. It just makes it not so juicy that the juice squirts out every time you do it that way. And clean. Last thing is this thing. More soap here. There. Now, not only did we make a meal, and we've cleaned up. Got to get to that Amazon run now. Get free rainbow drive. Why are they parked right next to us? I don't know. Those spots on the other side just must not be desirable. Huh. <laughs> My bad, I should have just parked where we usually park. Uh, from now on, I will always park over there. We got no one else morons. will. Yeah. <laughs> weird. Yep. People are so weird. <laughs> Okay, it is 7.20 in the morning. We picked up our Amazon run. I've got Joanne with me. Say hi, Joe. Hi. And we are headed to make the first stop. Unfortunately, it's at the other end of Atlanta where our, all our packages are grouped together at, so we've got about at least a 30 minute drive to get to where we're going. But we don't have that many packages. I think we only have about 20 stops. So let's drive over there, hope we don't hit bad traffic, bang it out, and then drive back home. Okay, so this block started at 7.15. Like I said, it would take about half an hour for us to drive over here. It took us 35 minutes, so five minutes longer than the GPS and I thought. But we are just about to make our first drop of 20 drops, starting now. We 
are right on schedule right now. So we've been dropping packages for about an hour. It's 8.45 and we're just about to make our 10th delivery. So uh, we should be able to finish this in the next hour and then 30 minute drive home. Hopefully we finish about 30 minutes early for this block. So today has just been off the hook. Uh, we just finished that Amazon run uh, three and a half hours for $98. And then this morning we got uh, two runs out of IHOP uh, totaling almost $20, like $19.75. So we've already made $120 and it's about 11 o'clock. So that is awesome. We needed this good day because uh, we've got to make over 200, like 250 something. I don't even remember how much, but a lot in order to make our goal. And this is the last day. Um, I went home to uh, cook a cheeseburger after the run. We got home at 1045. So it worked out to almost be exactly a three and a half hour block. And uh, as I was cooking, uh, I turned on DoorDash and got this. So I finished cooking my burger. I haven't even eaten it yet. Uh, we're on the way to Marco's Pizza to pick up this order. Uh, when I get there, I'm gonna try and take a couple bites of it and see how it tastes. All right, so we, uh, we picked up the pizza and we picked up the liquor. They're going two different places. So I dropped uh, the pizza off first and now we're going to deliver big bottle of tequila to somebody. I have a feeling that since this is Labor Day weekend, we might see a lot of this. A lot of uh, liquor store deliveries, at least I hope so. The funny part about this drop off of the pizza, it was sent as a gift and there was already a built in tip of $3, but uh, the girl insisted on tipping me also. So she gave me $8 on top of the, the three. So that was actually a pretty good run. So yeah, I can already tell this is gonna be a good Labor Day weekend. It's uh, off to a great start. Uh, the guy that we just dropped off had also slipped me a couple bucks. And so it's, I think it's gonna be a lot of those little cash tips. You know, people are feeling happy and uh, they're gonna reward the people that have to be out here working. So let's keep it up. Uh, so before I even got back to my car, I got this one. So uh, we uh, left his apartment and we're on our way to Chick-fil-A to get this one. All right, so we finally managed to get gas. Uh, we had gone all day without doing it. Normally we do it first thing in the morning and uh, we dashed and did an Amazon run. So we spent more on gas, 20 bucks than we have on any other day this week of the challenge. And while we're at the pump, we got this one over to Pages and we're gonna pick that up. It's, uh, it wasn't really going that many miles. It wasn't going 17 miles. So I'm a little curious why the pay was so high. Uh, I guess we'll see. All right, so we got this one uh, from Dollar General. Just one item, uh, ice cream. <laughs> hey guys, I'm still out here hustling and trying to get the money in. Uh, last day of the challenge. I know we had a $97 run, $98 run, whatever it was from uh, Amazon. And we've got about $100 in the book so far for DoorDash. And I think we've clocked in about $10 in cash tips. So we are really, really close. Uh, it's about 2.45 right now, and I'm just gonna stay out here a little bit longer. I wanna make sure we got enough in the bucket to make it this time for this challenge. I don't wanna fail another one. Hey guys, side gig guy checking in. It's uh, about 3.40. And we just got this one right here. It's a cash on delivery order. It's our first one of the day. And I think we'll probably call it a day after this delivery. Uh, I've been doing some number crunching in my head and I think we're gonna make it. So uh, we'll do this last delivery and then we'll run through the numbers. Here are the numbers for Friday, day seven of the challenge. Amazon Flex, we picked up a three and a half hour block to pay this $97. And then we did DoorDash also in three separate dashes, which came to a grand total of $118. And we had an amazing $26 in cash tips today, mostly probably because it was a long weekend, Labor Day weekend, and we had two cash on delivery orders, but that is a record for me. So that makes the total for the day $241, and the total for the week is $1,306. We met the challenge, but let's recap those terms really quick. $105. Now, we know gig workers are gonna spend more on fuel, but I do drive a hybrid, and my fuel cost is usually about 10% of what I bring in. So I'm gonna add $110 to this total as my fuel cost for the week. 
We'll see if that turns out. So that makes it $1,215 a week, but I'm going to round that up to $1,300 for the challenge. Now in all fairness, that $27 an hour was based on a 40 hour work week. I worked all 7 days and 72 hours total. And I also drove almost 1,500 miles and rolled my odometer over to 80,000 miles, which means it's time for an oil change again. I really hope you enjoyed watching this seven day challenge and I hope you're enjoying the channel. Welcome to all the new subscribers and check out the rest of the content. I'm going to be taking a few days off to recuperate, but I look forward to making more videos about early retirement and other things in the near future. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and I'd love to hear from you in the comments.